to get real happy. in the recording environment and on the stage. They like to hear a bass that sound like a bass. Boom, 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 boom. Breaking it down to the simplest form. You know, that's a functional warm. I'm looking for a warm tone, right? And I'm looking for round edges. You know, that don't have round edges. That has sharp pointy edges to it. If you think of it in terms of of a, of a picture or, or, or something, you know, like this sound. That's got this kind of warm, rich vibe to it and the edges are round and soft. You know this, that's kind of got them sharp edges to it. Well, when it comes to recording music and putting bass down on tape and supporting the majority of popular music, they're looking for that. A strong pulse big warm sound, and then soft round edges. So that's another thing that I learned, and I learned that from a lot of great bass players, great meat and potatoes bass players. James Jamerson. Has anybody here ever heard of James Jamerson? He's the most, uh, uh, probably the, the most, one of the most important bass guitar players of all time. He played on all the Motown recordings, or the, most of them. Bob Babbitt was the other guy that played on a lot of them. Carol Kay. Anybody ever heard of Carol Kay? Yeah. Carol Kay is another one. She's a West Coast session musician. Played on all the stuff with the Beach Boys, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Another meat and potatoes bass player who happens to be a friend and colleague of mine, Leland Sklar. Anybody ever heard of him? Yeah. Leland Sklar, Lee Sklar? You can't miss him. He looks like Gandalf the Wizard. He's got the big, long, gray beard. Okay. Guess how many records that guy's played on? Take a guess. I think Lee's played on... He's all the records, not... All of, well, I mean, I think Lee is one of the most recorded studio session cats out there. He is. He is, in fact, the most recorded bass guitar player of all time. Does anybody have any guesses? 2,500 albums. 2,500 albums. You know, I thought I was some kind of cool, cool dude because I played on 50 albums. He played on 2,500 albums, and just about all of them was hits. Oh my God, it kills me. He's a complete sweetheart, though. He's a really nice guy. And, um, you know, there, you can't turn on, the, on rock radio or pop radio for more than 10 minutes without hearing something he played on. He played on all that stuff. But he's a meat and potatoes player, you know? Donald Duck Dunn. Anybody ever heard of Donald Duck Dunn? Okay. Memphis. Stax, Booker T and the MGs, the Blues Brothers, that's Donald Duck Dunn. He's a cat with the glasses and the pipe and the beard. You know, there's, um, God, there's so many. Paul McCartney, anybody ever heard of Paul McCartney from the Beatles? He's another huge one. John Paul Jones from Led Zeppelin. You know, saying that he, man, John Paul Jones is a, is bad, funky too in rock music. You know, he brought funk to rock. You listen to some Zeppelin, it's funky. Mm.
Sean Paul Jones bass line from uh, The Crunch. So there's been many, many bass players in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in, in, in my journey that have, that have hit me to a lot of different things, that fundamental style, that fundamental meat and potatoes kind of style. And, um, you know, so, you know, I always try and play different styles. And another voice that I, another voice that I get into um, that I kind of learned from a cat, anybody ever heard of Jocko Pistorius? Jocko Pistorius, we've heard of Jocko, right? I, I hope so. He, uh, he's one of the big innovators of bass guitar. Some say he was the greatest bass player of all time. He played a fretless, four-string jazz bass. And he invented a lot of things. But uh, I listened to him quite a bit. I never learned none of his stuff. I just tried to make up my own stuff that sound kind of like his. I never had the time or the ears to figure out figure out all that stuff. Nowadays, you can get tablature and you can get videos and you can get stuff where they break it down note by note by note. I got kids that are coming to me to my bass lesson, to their bass lesson that they're taking from me and showing me Jocko licks. <laughs> I could never figure that out by myself. But I 